Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. My name is Paige and today I'm going to be doing another After Dark Clean With Me. Y'all always seem to really enjoy these and I personally love to clean at night. I'm a night owl. I am by no means, <laughs> no means a morning person. So if you enjoy After Dark Cleaning routines as much as I do, please make sure to hit that like button and if you have not joined our family yet, please consider subscribing before you leave. Most nights my cleaning always starts in the kitchen and our dining table has been a catch-all for I think like the last year because I decided I didn't want to put any table settings on the table anymore and I think that was the only way that this table stayed clean was because it had table settings on it. I was just showing you my stuff from Hobby Lobby. Um, I did just do a haul on that and a decorate with me. If you hadn't seen that yet I'll have that linked above in the eye in the sky and down below. As you can see, I'm letting the dogs out to potty and Rosie's coming back in from her little pottying adventure outside. So I'm just gonna go in with some Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner. Still going strong with my spring limited edition peony scent. It's so, so good. But I try to rotate them out because I do not want to run out of it. I get a lot of questions about where I get my cleaners and stuff from. I typically get all of mine from Growth Collaborative. So I do always have information down below. There's always some kind of deal running. So you can just check that link down below and there should be something down there for you if you wanna get some free stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and since I'm wiping stuff down, I decided to go on into the living room, wipe down all of the entertainment center. It just needed to be dusted some. I'm gonna continue using that multi-surface cleaner from Mrs. Myers. I think it does a fantastic job. And of course, it smells amazing. positively certain somebody will ask me where this dehumidifier is this a dehumidifier or is this an air purifier <laughs> i can never remember exactly what it is but i will have this thing that i'm showing you right here i will have that link down below you just fill it with water and it just puts moisture back in the air i bought this when i got the flu back in february and i will that water like lasts forever so i will just like fill it up whenever and just let it go this particular batch of water I think it was like a day and a half I do turn it off and they do not recommend like leaving water just sitting in it so make sure you read up on that before you just like try to just put dirty water and let that just like go all in the air um, but I love it and here we go so I told you guys on Instagram that I was on the hunt for a cordless vacuum cleaner and I bought one, but we do have quite a bit of really thick carpet in our house. For the most part, we have hardwood floors and tile, uh, but we do have some carpet in our house. And because we have these wonderful little doggies here, um, I needed something that was going to be good and that was going to get their dog hair out of the carpet so the one that i initially got was a eureka i will have it linked down below if you don't have rugs at home like really thick carpets i think it would be great but i got it and i ended up returning it because it just wasn't working on our rugs like i wanted it to but this one this is the dyson v6 absolute and i am obsessed okay i was totally against dyson i had some hard feelings so i was like refusing to get one but then I found this amazing deal through QVC and I shared it on Instagram and a lot of you were able to grab that deal up too before it changed. They had like Dyson days or something. So we were able to get it for like less than 270 bucks with all of these different attachments and stuff. It is a little bit aggravating I would say to clean. They did change that on the V7 model, but of course the, the more you go, the higher end models that you go, 
you're going to spend more money. I'm okay with sticking my finger in there and pulling out that dirt. It's going to save me some coins. Because my husband had a night shift working duty on this particular night, I was able to make all the noise that I wanted to. And I have to tell y'all, I should have showed you what time it was. Right now, at this clip, it was probably 12.30 in the morning. Yeah, I was up super, super late cleaning. By the time I was done, I like crashed and burned. <laughs> I was so tired. So I definitely like to put in some essential oil in that diffuser because it's right on my little nightstand and I'll be going to bed shortly. So, you know, I wanted to make sure it was good and ready for me. That is my favorite. I have just ranted and raved about Eden's Garden for the longest time. That Breathe Easier is definitely one of my favorite ones. It helps me breathe easier, I guess. <laughs> I struggle with a lot of allergy issues, so I think that one helps a whole lot. And of course, dusting. Dusting helps. <laughs> dusting helps even more so. And I'm just using the same peony scented Mrs. Myers multi-surface in our bedroom. <laughs> Somebody else with you, I can't be myself. That sure is something else. Mm. Can we stay for a while until the fire's burned out? It's a shimmer and light setting is right. below what is your least favorite room to clean mine is definitely the bathrooms I despise cleaning the bathrooms <laughs> they are my least favorite room to clean the toilet though is at the top of that list that's that's just why can't I hire somebody just to come and clean that toilet wouldn't that be great if we were just like a toilet fairy that will come in at night kind of like my little robot vacuum that I got just he just cleans the floor at 12 o'clock at night wouldn't that be great <laughs> I did see a self-cleaning toilet at Lowe's one day that was like a game changer, but that sucker was like 700 bucks. They can keep that toilet. <laughs> that just seemed ridiculous to me. So I'm just gonna finish off with my Dyson cordless vacuum. I will have this one linked down below too. I can't remember if I said that already or not. Um, obviously Rosie is obsessed with the vacuum. Lady's terrified of it. So you won't see her whatsoever if that vacuum is out. She does like this one a little bit more than like the traditional one because it's not as loud. But she's still not a fan, so she was just chilling somewhere. Thank you. 
now I'm off to the guest bathroom to just give it a little tidy. Um, by a little tidy, I mean like I'm literally going to wipe everything down. So I guess that's not a little tidy. I'm not doing like a real deep clean. But I have been loving Sugar Rush on Netflix. Who else is obsessed with like baking shows in general? I love them. I think they're super chill and relaxing. I probably really like it because my mama loves like anything food related on, t on TV and it just sort of like just makes me relax. I don't know if it makes everybody else relaxed. Maybe it just makes you hungry, uh, but I just think it's so relaxing and I love this new show. The Zumbo guy from the Zumbo's Just Desserts, he's on it. It's just really different from any other show that I've seen as far as like baking competitions go. Also another one is Nailed It. It's not relaxing though, it's hilarious. So if you're trying to go to sleep, don't try to watch that one because I literally like die laughing when I watch it. Um, but I was just showing you there that I like to watch little shows and stuff while I'm getting my night cleaning done. It just kind of helps me just stay motivated and to keep cleaning. also love watching shows to help you clean no matter what time of day it is comment those down below what's your favorite things on Netflix to watch when you're like trying to stay motivated maybe you just like to hear it playing along in the background comment those down below I'm always looking for a new recommendation with that being said we are all done with our nightly cleaning I know it's over already but if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you guys on my next one hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed day y'all bye